Okay, we're going to continue our work with surface area of a triangular prism, specifically a right triangle. This prism has been flipped on its side, so as you can see, it's resting on the right triangle, and I wanted to make sure that you could solve it looking at it like this. So remember, again, that surface area is the area of all faces, and remember that this particular prism has five faces. Remember here, we've got the right triangle here, that's one, another one down here, that's two, then we've got these rectangles making it three, four, and then this one looking at us, which is five. We need to keep that in mind as we solve for the surface area of this particular prism. So remember again that the formula for solving for a triangle is base times height divided by two because remember it's half of a rectangle or a square. So on this one, if we look, I know it's a right triangle because again it has this 90 degree angle here that kind of helps me. So if I think about it, our base is actually over here, which is six. And our height is on this side because I can see that it's a straight up and down point where this is looking more like the slant. So Make sure that you're thinking of that when you solve for a particular prism that looks like this. So again, I'm gonna do six times eight, and then again, I have to divide it by two. And six times eight divided by two is 24. So I know the top now is 24, and I know that the bottom now is also 24. Next, I need to solve for those three rectangles. Remember that the formula for a rectangle is length times width. So let's start. So I'm gonna first solve for this rectangle that's looking right at us. You can see the length of this particular rectangle is 10 and the width is 12. So I'm gonna do 10 times 12, which is 120. Next, I'm going to do this rectangle on this side. So here's the length. I don't see it down here, but if I look up, it matches with that eight. So I'm gonna do eight times the width, which is also 12. And eight times 12 is 96. Okay, last rectangle, which is on this side. Again, I need a length. I don't have anything here, but again, I'm gonna look up and I see it lines up with six. So I'm gonna do six times the width, which is 12 and six times 12 is 72. Okay, so now I know that this front face is 120, this side face is 96, and then this face on this side is 72. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I've solved for five faces. The last step is to add those together. So I'm gonna do 24 plus 24 plus 72, plus 96, plus 120. When I add all those numbers together, I get 336. So it still needs a label, even though as you might see, there's no label. When you don't see a label, you don't just leave it blank. You still have to put something there. So the best thing to do is just to call them units. So we're gonna do 336 units, and since it's area, it still needs to be squared. So then our total surface area is 336 square units.